Welcome back to the Blue Review, Brett Bergman and Steve Mason. Yes, Steve Mason. I've been dying to be on the Blue Review. I'm so I actually wore my uh, favorite. Dodger Steve, the black one. There you go. Yeah. No CY today. He wasn't able to make it in, so Steve t- decided that he wanted to step up. Actually, sorry, Mace. Mace. I don't Mace like Steve. Decided, exactly. Does not like Steve, so no, Mace decided to step in. By the way, the Blue Review is presented by Los Angeles International Airport, where changes are arriving daily to help reduce traffic, save travelers time, and transform the travel experience. All right, Mace, so this is what's the biggest thing that we want to talk about today yeah. is how much trust do you have in this Dodgers team? Because teams like the Padres are below 500. Yep. Uh, the Cardinals are below 500. Those two teams are very well built. They're yep. very good, and they're probably going to be just fine. Do you have that same type of confidence in this Dodger team? I, you know, I don't. I think right now this is a really ordinary Dodgers team. That middle infield, I was thinking about, uh, you know, watching the game yesterday. Miguel Vargas is a dead spot in the lineup. Mm-hmm. Shortstop, we're actually going to reach and, and put Mookie Betts at shortstop potentially. Um, the bullpen has been just a disaster. Right. Whenever I see Vessia, whenever I see Bickford, I get scared. Uh, Almonte hasn't been very good. I mean, there, there are so many questions with this team, and I don't think it's a guarantee that this is a 91 team right now. Well, and that's the problem with it, because you have no idea what you're going to get game in and game out. You're, they're going to run into some balls and they're going to hit home runs, right? They're going to they'll get a couple runs, they'll hit 10 one game and then zero the next, but you have such that dead spot from five down. Yep. It's just completely empty. Like you were saying, Miguel Vargas cannot hit major league pitching no, right now. No, not right now. He can walk. Yep. He can be patient, but that's about it. And then you have, besides James Altman, J.D. Martinez is playing pretty well. Yeah, J.D. Sitton. But, but the, rest of the, the rest of it, I mean, you're not going to get much. This the Austin Wins guy, not going to give you much. A no. catcher. We Austin need... Barnes, when he's out there, not going to give you much a catcher. No, but so I think, how, I wonder how much that actually makes a difference with Will Smith still being out due to the concussion, which he can come off today. Technically, I don't think he actually is coming right. off today. But how much does that make a difference? I feel like his stability in the lineup would actually help this team out a lot, and we haven't really seen too much of it yet since he's been injured. he was very, very consistent, really strong out of the box. He's in that three hole, which then moves all the bats down, all the solid bats a little bit further down. The dead spot at the end of the lineup is one spot livelier, I guess you could say. They got one more live bat there. So yeah. I think Will Smith coming back is is big. And by the way, excellent use of the word livelier. <laughs> nicely, <laughs> nicely. Yes, livelier. Where the hell is that coming You from? always figure out some kind of word. It's a real word, too. Yeah, it sure. is. It is. So, I mean, if when he comes back and that helps maybe solidify the the batting order just a little bit, you still have a good pitching staff. So, And what we saw from Noah Syndergaard the other day is exactly kind of what you want from him, right? Yeah. You, he's going to go six innings. He's going to get give up two to three runs. His three of his four outings have been really good despite being 0-3. Now you're going to have Tony Gonsolin coming back. He yep. was in his first rehab assignment just today, and he had he gave up one hit, a home run, get seven Ks in three innings. Good news. Those are all positive things. So now when you if you move Noah Syndergaard down to that five spot, yep. all of a sudden your pitching staff looks really strong. Yeah, my concern is Dustin May, who yeah. has great stuff but has not been consistent to start the year, has been up and down. Clearly, he's got the tools to be able to be really successful, but he hasn't so far been. And you're counting on him as one of the top of the rotation guys, he becomes a question mark. Yeah, he's probably my favorite guy on the staff. I love Dustin May and his stuff so much. I really think he can be one of the best pitchers in all of baseball at some point. He's not doing it right now. And I think that's a problem. He's not striking guys out at the rate that he has to be. Yep. I think he only had one in the last Yeah, game. he did. He's not striking guys out exactly no, right. No, so that's a bit of a problem. But hopefully, look, 19 games in the season. Yep. Still one game below 500. It's still early. I just don't have the same trust in this team as some of the other teams that are also I still think 93 wins in the playoffs. By the way, Padres get Fernando Tatis back today. today. They haven't been scoring runs. He was tearing it up at AAA. Yeah. I've got a feeling they're going to pick things up now. And that goes right into the same, you trust the Padres more than you trust the Dodgers sadly, right now. Sadly. Sadly, that's a problem. Yeah. All right, Mace, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on. Yeah. We'll try and do it again. A, I, I'm, I, I'll do it anytime. I love it. I yeah. love it. You're a great host. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, and thanks a lot to LAX. See you tomorrow on the Blue Review.